Hi guys, it's Alison again. Um, I've had a few requests um, for a tutorial on how I made my Heritage album um, so that um, you knew how I'd made all the pockets and the um, flap out pages and things like that. So I'm going to give, going to do a, it probably be, well it will be more than one video um, of the construction of the album and then obviously it's down to you to um, work out how you want to assemble it. Now I'm going to actually run through page per page so I've got this to compare to for you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, got a bit of a cold. Um, and as I say, once you know the basics of it, you can swap the pages around and actually construct it, um, it into an album that in the sort of format that you want. So. Um, as I say, I'm just going to go through the basics. Now, the main part of the pages are these black C5 envelopes. Now, I originally bought some from a local craft store, but they're no longer around. And, but I was luckily, I um, managed to find some on eBay. And these ones are particularly good because they're black inside as well as, as out. So, not that that really matters, but when you've got a pocket... <clears throat> excuse me like this it's just nice to have the the black inside as well so um, the first thing you need to do for um, well most of the pages actually is to, to seal the envelope up I tend to use some double-sided tape because I think it's slightly stronger than just relying on the um, this sort of adhesive that's already on the envelope um, but one thing you need to make sure is that you only put tape on the areas that, you, that you're going to stick. You don't want it overlapping so it catches the inside because obviously that's going to lose some of your pocket space. Um, but on the other hand, you don't really... I used... Um, you'll see in a minute, I used an ATG gun for my very first one and um, it's obviously it's gone over the edge which is going to cause a problem once that's folded over as a pocket. But uh, so as I say, I've just run a piece of this very narrow double-sided tape, but it's going to be enough that hold it firm. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> right. <clears throat> now the first thing you need to do once you've sealed your envelope is one end to just got a very thin slither off of it to make your opening, and then from that end you need to measure sixteen centimeters. This is if you're using the C5 envelopes. Obviously, you can adapt your sizes according to the size of your envelope. But the C5 is approximately 16 and a half centimeters by 23 overall. So, um, as I say, from your cut end, which is there, you need to measure 16 centimeters and score a fold line. That's your first page, and then what I've done here is run some um, red line, really strong red line tape around there. In this album, that's the um, page that is being stuck to the um, chipboard covers. <clears throat> Obviously, once you've covered this, you can um, also, with your, your designer paper, you can also cut your half circle out there if you want to use it as a section for pull you know make it easier to pull your inserts out so that's your first page the second page and what I tend to do is I assemble the next bit but before I actually adhere it I tend to uh, on this one I put my paper in on here first so that once you stick the next part over you've got that so it, it sort of overlaps and um, it's sort of hidden so your paper actually goes down with into your pocket. For your next one you need to yet again seal the, the envelope up and then you need to measure first of all four centimeters in and do a score. Then you need to do another 16 centimeters on top of that and score it again. <clears throat> so your final flap is three centimeters. Now that will fold the opposite way, so you've got like a, a Z shape. 